Paul here and welcome along everyone. Uh, yesterday I completed the butterfly box which may well be have been the previous video on the channel. So I'm trying to carry on a bit with something like that, uh, hopefully with a bit of pyrography and with the silver birch again. I've sort of, because of the bark, I've more or less copied something that Sam Angelo had done. Um, and what I've done, I've actually drilled a 25 mil hole through the bark uh, with this spade bit and then basically hammered in with a rubber mallet the, uh, the drive, the four prong spur drive. Right, freshly sharpened ball gouge, face shield on, and I've found as well, I mean my lathe only runs at a slower speed of 500, and I've found actually that you get a lot of vibration at 500, just upping the speed a little bit uh, does reduce the vibration, so it's probably running about six, 700 RPM. It's got a nice shake to it. So I've got this down to, well it's in balance now, down to a very rough shape, um, got quite a bit of tear out, got one or two cracks which I'm going to fill with CA in a moment, uh, thin CA and still got to perform, make the tenon on the bottom there. I'm undecided about the bark now, um, a lot of this is really really nice, I've just got one little bit there where it's gone uh, and I don't really want to take that back so I may well um, leave that as it is. Um, and I will see when I hollow it out so I may well just give this all some CA around the top here just to keep the bark on as well for now. I've turned this around now and got it mounted in the chuck. Uh, the outside has just been sand and sealer and it's down to 400 grit and it's come up quite nicely. So I'm going to initially try and keep some of this bark just to see what it comes out like. So I don't know how thick I'm going to go to start with but I'm just going to start hollowing out the centre um, and just see what comes of it.
Okay, I'm actually quite pleased with this shape. Uh, it's nice and thick. Um, I don't know what we're talking about here. We're talking. Just over 15 mil, 15, 16 mil for wall thickness. So it is really, really nice and thick. Um, and I quite like that because it really just shows off all the bark. Uh, and the bark is very, it's very old. It's very flaky, but thin pieces. So I'm just hoping that if I get some, something like some sanding cedar or some oil on there, it will actually help just to stop that. Um, okay, so I've took the walls down to about 15 mil, which is about five eighths of an inch. And I've sanded the inside of 400. I had to give a coat of CA all on the inside of the bark here and then sand it all back down by hand. Uh, it's been sanded to 400. It's had a couple of coats of sanding sealer uh, and then sanded back with 400 again just to make it all nice and smooth. Uh, I've also given, given the top of the bark here um, a coat of sanding sealer as well to see if that sort of like helps it. Um, but after I did that, uh, it's typical wood turning, decided to change my mind uh, because I felt that the bottom was just wasn't the right shape on the outside. So I reversed it on a jam chuck, on a friction chuck, that way, and decided to turn the outside down to more of a round shape. And I've since sanded that back all the way again to 400, uh, sanding sealer, and then knocked it back in with 400 at the same time, just took care of the tenon at the same time. So I've got a, a small nub there, probably about 10 mil, uh, just to just to sand. Well, take off partly with the chisel and then sand off as well. So um, I'm still undecided about what I'm finally going to do with this. Um, I do like it. It's like I say, it's about it's it's a real chunky bowl, and I quite like that, especially with the bark and everything. So it's about 15 mil thick. So I'm going to have a think about this. I think I'm going to certainly do an oil finish on it anyway. I've never used tongue oil as a finish, so I'm going to probably give it a coat of tongue oil. But having said that, I may well then do some form of a pyrography on the outside. So I have decided that with the bowl, I am going to do some pyrography on the outside and leave the middle plain. So rather than try and come up with all the images at once because it's Sunday afternoon and I want to get on with some of this, I've actually chosen one image already and it's not the best quality but it should do for what I need.
bowl is curved, I've actually taped more of this down just to try and take out some of the movement that you get from the paper. Uh, these images as well I've also modified slightly so that it actually shows up more of the lines. Um, there's a filter in Photoshop called Find Edges, so it just helps just to define where you need to trace. Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Uh, video this time, uh, calling this my Owl Bowl. Um, uh, following the butterfly box, uh, really, really wanted to do some more pyrography and I've found that silver birch really does work well uh, with the pyrography. Uh, this, this particular piece has got a lot of colouring in the actual wood um, so it sort of like quite adds to it as well. When I started this piece, uh, initially I probably wanted to do some form of a platter or something like that, but with that big chunk um, of a blank to start with, uh, I just thought it would be a waste not to do a bowl. To start off, and I was really unsure about the bark. I didn't think it had very much detail or anything like that. I thought it was very flaky, it was going to peel off. Um, so I had no intention of keeping it. It wasn't really until I turned the bowl round and started hollowing out the inside and found that the bark was staying on there quite nicely that I decided to keep it. So I've left the walls quite thick, they're about 15mm, and I think really it works quite well, uh, purely and simply because of the bark. And for the all the images, basically off the web again, usually copy them down, put them in Photoshop. I knew roughly what size, I knew the sizes that I wanted, so I could measure them all out, resize them, print them, um, 
and then put them on the right parts of the bowl that I want to go. I gave it a coat of sanding sealer before I started doing the pyrography because I thought one it would clean up the wood, two show the grain and everything like that, any patterns, but I think it probably made it worse for doing the pyrography. I think another time I would probably just get straight on with the pyrography, finish up with the sanding sealer to clean the whole thing up. I've also just, I mean I was totally undecided about the finish whatsoever so this time I've just given it a couple of coats of tongue oil and again the, what I've found as well is that silver birch doesn't really soak up much moisture like a lot of woods. So if this is your first time here uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I put up regular videos usually most weeks uh, at least that way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, for my existing subscribers again as always a big big thank you very much. It's so much appreciated you keep coming back all the time and I'd appreciate it if everybody hit the share button, hit the like button and please Leave some comments below. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this one. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next project video. Bye.